We are looking at a slightly new situation here. Let's assume we have attached a new server and want to play out content to two screens. So the first things we have to do is to change the two camera settings so that we can define one big area. The actual task is to have a loop as the background across the two screens and then to have a picture on the left screen that gets faded in, runs for a few seconds and then fades out. The same has to happen on the right screen as well. First of all we grab a test pattern, that makes it easier to see what is actually happening. Let us put it onto the first layer and then we'll move the opacity fader upwards. And then, since at the moment the two cameras are still at the same spot within the three-dimensional space, we have to change those camera positions using the lens shift, which means we should select the camera and then we'll go to the control it tab where using the X offset we can now change the camera position or rather the area that the camera is supposed to show. Camera 1 gets moved until we can see the left half of our picture space from the middle and now we change to camera 2, do the same thing using the X offset. Now towards the other direction obviously until the picture reaches the border in the middle. It's quite easy to see this in the preview as well. Let's save those settings to the timeline. And now we'll make those camera values a little bit longer within the time axis so that we can get started with the actual programming. Our first task was to have a loop across two screens as a background, which means we choose a loop. We then add it to layer one. We'll fade up the opacity and we'll set it to play loop. And now we scale it using the x-axis so that it fits across both screen backgrounds. We'll save this to the timeline. And then we'll set the clip to unlock to time. Our next task involves creating a loop as picture in picture that appears, runs for a bit and then fades out again. Let's select player 2, fade up the opacity of the picture we've chosen. Then we'll set it to play loop. And first of all, we will scale down the picture. Once we've scaled it down, we'll then move it to the left screen. After which we'll take the opacity down to zero and save that to the timeline. Now let's go two seconds further. Fade up the opacity again. Save it to the timeline. Another four seconds. And save the active opacity value of 255. And now another two seconds. After which we'll let the clip fade out which we'll save to the timeline once more. We want the same to happen on the right screen, which is a good time for using a bit of copy and paste, which means to copy the whole clip and to then add it to layer three. Then we should obviously change the content and let it fade in so that we can see it. Now we must of course change the position so that the clip will appear on the second screen. Once it has reached the position, let us save it to the timeline. And after that, we'll just watch it. We have one loop acting as the background. The left clip then fades in runs for four seconds, fades out again, and as a next step another clip appears to the right and does the same on the other side. Let's watch the whole setup again, this time on the screens.